Senator from New York. Mr. President, I rise to urge my colleagues to vote in favour of Amendment Number 48 to S1. Order. The Keystone XL Pipeline Act. As it stands now, gas companies in this country do not have to comply with the Safe Drinking Water Act, the law that keeps our tap water clear, safe, and clean. For decades now, this loophole has exempted hydro fracking and gas storage companies from this law, even though every other energy industry, including oil and coal industries, is legally obligated to comply. If big oil can, can comply with this law, so can gas companies. This special exemption is unfair, it's unnecessary, and it's unsafe. And my amendment would, would finally remove it from the law. I urge my colleagues not to let this chance pass us by. Thank you. I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? Mr. President? Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. These nays are ordered. Senator from Alaska. Mr. President, claiming the, the one minute in opposition here, as the Senator from New York has described, this would apply the requirements of the Safe Drinking Water Act to underground injection of natural gas. Currently, the Safe Drinking Water Act expressly prohibits this application. This amendment to add these requirements to the Safe Drinking Water Act is beyond the scope of the immediate Keystone debate. We're debating the approval of a pipeline that's going to carry oil, not gas. Uh, if the senator from New York wants to, to debate the issues of fracking, and that's certainly, those issues are certainly before the Energy Committee and the Safe Drinking Water Act, I would, I would welcome a standalone bill. We'll have those discussions. But on this measure, I would uh, oppose and encourage members to vote against the Gillibrand Amendment.